Hello world. Hello beautiful people. How are you? I trust that you're doing great. And if not, please remember that happiness is a choice. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad. You can choose to be joyful or you can choose to be miserable. It's all about choices. What do you choose? It's not easy. The world has been going through a lot. People losing family members, people losing jobs. It's crazy right now, but still choose happiness and be grateful. Be grateful for everything and take everything one step at a time and one day at a time. It's not easy. It's not easy. So just do it one step at a time and one day at a time. No rush. Just be grateful. And I'm sending positive energies, love, peace, happy vibrations to you all. Receive it. Now today, I want to share a little book. Just a chapter out of a little book that I picked up a few years ago. It's called, Yes, You Can Do It, Even If Others Say You Can't, by John Mason. It's a very lovely book. Uh, when I got this book, I was in New York, you know, and my spirit was a little low. And I decided that I wanted something to read because I didn't travel with any books or anything of the sort. And I decided to, you know, jump to a store to get something. And I found this little book in CVS, the CVS pharmacy. Yes. So it's called Yes, You Can Do It, Even If Others Say You Can't by John Wilson. Now, I'm not going to get into the introductions or contents or, you know, I'm just going to jump right into chapter one. And it is called Safety Last. Let's jump in. For many years, safety first has been the motto of the human race, but it has never been the motto of leaders. A leader must face danger. A leader must face danger. He must take the risk and the blame and the brunt of the storm. If you want to be successful, you must either have a chance or take one. You can't get your head above water if you never stick your neck out. You can't get above water if you never stick your neck out a dream that does not include risk is not truly worthy of being called a dream here's a quote by lord halifax he said the man who leaves nothing to chance will do few things badly but he will do very few things if you never take risk, you will never accomplish great things. Everybody dies, but not everyone has lived. This is by C.S. Lewis. The safest road to hell is a gradual one. The gentle slope, soft underfoot, without sudden turnings, without milestones, without signs, without signposts. Elizabeth Kenny reflected, it's better to be a lion for a day than a sheep all your life. It's better to be a lion for a day than a sheep all your life. If you dare for nothing, you need hope for nothing. If you don't dare for anything, what are you going to hope for? If you don't risk anything, you risk even more. Johnny Newman wrote, Calculation never made a hero. Every person has a chance to improve himself, but some just, just don't believe in taking chances. So every person has a chance to improve him or herself, but some just don't believe in taking chances. I agree with Louise Platford who said, you have all eternity to be cautious, and then you're dead. You have all eternity to be cautious, 
and then you're dead. Being destined for greatness requires that you take risks and confront great hazards. Let's go. Being destined for greatness requires that you take risks and confront great hazards. You'll always miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I agree with John Stemmons. When your, chance when your chances are slim and none, go with slim. When your chances are slim and none, go with slim. Maurice West said, if you spend your whole life inside waiting for the storms, you will never enjoy the sunshine. No one reaches the top without daring. No one reaches the top without daring. Listen to Conrad Hilton. I encourage boldness because the danger, the danger of seniority and pension plans tempt a young man to settle in a rut named security rather than find his own rainbow. Again, I encourage boldness because the danger of seniority and pension plans tempt a young man to settle in a rut named security rather than find his own rainbow. Chuck Yeager remarked, you don't concentrate on risk. In other words, do not concentrate on risk. You concentrate on results. Don't worry about the risk that you'll be taking. Think about the results. Concentrate on the results. No risk is too great to prevent the necessary job from getting done. No risk is too great to prevent the necessary job from getting done. Whenever you see a successful person, I guarantee he or she took a risk and made courageous decisions. Success favors the bold. Did you know that? Success favors the bold. The world is a book where those who do not take risk read only one page. <laughs> the world is a book where those who do not take risk read only one page. Dave Mahoney said, Refuse to join the cautious crowd that plays not to lose. Do not join the cautious crowd. Do not join people who are always cautious, calculating every plan, what they're going to do next. Next, No, don't do that. So refuse to join the cautious crowd that plays not to lose. Play to win. Every noble acquisition is attended with its risk. He who fears to encounter the one must not expect to obtain the other. If you fear, you will not encounter anything. Listen to Tommy Barnett. Many people believe that you are really walking by faith when there is no risk. But, but the truth is, the longer you walk with God, the greater the risk. So you see, many people believe that you are walking by faith when there is no risk. But the, but the truth is, the longer you walk with God, the greater the risk. If you have found yourself throughout life never scared, embarrassed, disappointed, or hurt, it means you have never taken any chances. Yeah. If you have found yourself throughout life never scared, embarrassed, 
disappointed or hurt, it means you have never taken any chances. David Viscott wrote, If your life is ever going to get better, you'll have to take a risk. If your life is ever going to get better, you have to take a risk. There is simply no way you can grow without taking chances. There is simply no way you can grow without taking chances. You have a choice to improve yourself. Just believe in taking chances. Improve yourself. That's the end of chapter one. Improve yourself. Take chances. Take risks. After all, we're only here on earth to enjoy, to learn life lessons, to grow, to evolve. If we do not take risks, we cannot grow. We cannot stay in the same stagnant area or the same stagnant relationship or the same stagnant job all our lives. We have to take risks, take chances, embrace change. That is the only way you'll grow and you'll become the best version of yourself for me i say i say without risk there's no life without risk there's no enjoyment without risk you experience nothing because that's life you know take risk go on new adventures can't spend all your life with the same people, the same environment, the same, you're not growing, you're not growing. So please, take risk, take risk. We only live once, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, to learn, as I said before, to grow, to evolve, to experience life in its fullest. Try, try. Even if you're scared, if you have fear, try. Take a risk and be a great leader and be the best version of yourself. Now, my video is nothing fancy. You know, I just want to share a few little Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.